it's Amanda here with Homeschool and Life, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about kind of a review, well, I guess it is a review of two physical science curriculums that I have bought. I have used both of them, and um, I know it's kind of getting close to, you know, thinking about what you want to do for next year in the curriculums. So right, I'm going to share my personal opinion of which one I liked better. But let me say, to begin, um, I'm going to be kind of talking about God's design and um, the good and the beautiful. Both of them are the machines and motions. Um, and so I just want to say that I love both companies. Both companies are excellent. I use um, Masterbooks for a lot of my stuff, and I also use the Good and the Beautiful for a lot. So I love both. So even though I'm going to tell you which one I liked better, um, I just want you to know I love both companies. So it's not a knock against either one. So um, basically, I, I guess it would be easier for me to just share... I'm going to share which one I liked better first um, because we have gotten to the point in our homeschool where we are doing things twice. For example, I did the physical science when my older two were, um, you know, middle age, you know, fourth, fifth grade, third, fourth, fifth grade, and now my younger two are getting to that, so we have cycled back to do it again. And so, just to change things up, you know, to I, was, I like to use different companies, you know, it makes it fresh for me as the teacher, which sometimes helps me present it more fresh to the kids. It helps everybody be excited. And so, the first time around, we did God's Design. Um, the second time around, we did the good and the beautiful, and this is the one I liked better. And I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you all about this one and kind of talk about my whys, and then I will do the other one. So, so here is the um, physical world book. It has machines and motions, heat and energy, and inventions and tech with it. But I'm only going to be reviewing the motion and machines one because it's like comparable. If you were thinking about doing this for your middle school ish. Um, this is for about third through eighth and this one works for about the same. Um, just a side note, I liked the machines and motions and I loved the inventions in tech. I taught that to um, like at our co-op with all of our friends and the kids loved um, both. Well, actually, I guess I taught both, but my kids really liked that one. So anyways, so on this one, the reason I like it better is because you have the chapters and then it always has like the fun fact, um, you know, something interesting. And then like the, what did we learn taking it further? And then we don't, we didn't do everything, but then just machine research. And then a lot of the chapters have these like extra, just special feature features, informations on it. Um, so just the experimenting and I liked the way this was set up. All of the experiments were really cool. I think that we made a bridge out of popsicle sticks um, across two chairs. Um, we did a lot. So just, I, I guess the fun facts, the experiment, the special features in the experimenting with the levers really made this one stand out to me. And the kids really liked it. And I also have, um, I bought the student books to go with these and we did the worksheets and things, but overall, this one had much better experiments and much better doable experiments. So let me switch to the machines and motions here. This is still fun. If you choose this, you will still get a great um, education. It was just a lot, a lot less in my opinion. So uh, let me get to a lesson so you can see it. Um, like here's force in motion. And like, it's just so super short. And so you just miss a lot of the special features, the extras, the experiment ideas. Let me like, here's gravity. Sorry, I know I'm probably um, flipping way too fast for you to enjoy it. I'm trying to get back here. Okay, so here was some examples of some of their experiments compared to that's in the back of the book. Um, oh, look, another calculating momentum, another perpetual motion. Um, okay, sorry about that. So just the, 
I guess, like I said, the taking it further, the fun fact. And I thought the experiments were better in this one. The um, extra features were better in this one. And the choices in what to do were better in this one for the physical science. And so um, I thought this one was just a little bit... Um, like it did a lot of these special machine, special, um, you know, like the pulleys, the wheel, the lever, all those things. Um, I just didn't think it covered it as in depth. Okay. So if you are wanting, um, simpler, less time, not as in depth, um, this one, the good and the beautiful one would work very well. It still would give your children and you all the information you would need to get the good concept and grasp the ideas of motions and simple machines and the experiments are doable. So not knocking, uh, not negative, but if you think your kids are really gonna like the motions and simple machines and you wanna go a little bit deeper into it, I would recommend going with God's design. Um, just simply because of their special features, the what did you learn, the extras, and I thought that their experiments and activities were just um, cooler, more doable, and the kids, and I guess I'm just basing also off my kids' reactions. They loved, loved, loved this one a lot more than they did this one. Now, it's really my top two, my oldest two, they went through this one with me, and then I had them still sit in with this, because it doesn't hurt to go over physical science twice, and they all still said this one, and they were bringing up things, oh, do you remember when we did this? Do you remember when we did this? So, that would be my recommendation. Um, both good, but this is the one I like better. Now, today I showed you one that I liked God's design better, but tomorrow I'm gonna go compare, um, and there's gonna be another video posted, and I'm gonna compare the two where I actually preferred the good and the beautiful over the God's design. So just to show that I love both companies and I think both companies are excellent. And like I mentioned earlier in the thing, the inventions and technology that you get when you buy this one is, um, is pretty cool. And we watched a lot of like um, YouTube videos and I think we, I had them come up with a invention. Now I will say we also did the heat and energy when we did this one. I didn't love that section. And I will say, I, I kind of brought these in here. For God's design, you used to could buy like, you know how this has three books in it? You used to could buy the books like separate. And I loved that feature because um, carrying, you know, carrying this around when we're doing the earth was so much easier than carrying my whole book around um, when we since you have to buy them as a three pack now. But even if you bought this and you only did two out of the three sections, if you break your science into units, kind of like I do, then this is still worth it. Um, actually, I just saw something in here that I need to show uh, one of my children. We're all working on research projects right now. And even though I told you about the heat and energy wasn't my favorite, um, I just saw something that will go with my kids' research projects. So that's just kind of a side note. Um, every year, uh, this probably could be in another video, but every year we do research projects, which they're always writing papers and things like that, but we do like where they have to do a big paper and then they have to present and we get a crowd together, but we can show more about that later. So anyways, all today was is comparing motions and simple machines and my recommendation and the links to these will be in the comments. Um, anyways, thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And again, if you, if this content is helpful to you, if you enjoy this channel at all, my friend Lauren and I do it together and we enjoy it. Could you just give us a, um, like thumbs up? I guess it's a like here. Um, it just really helps us. It encourages us and it helps our videos be, you know, shown and pushed to the top. And if you could subscribe, we would love that. Anything we do is, um, we try to be as helpful as possible. And we love building the community here and creating content for you. It's been such a fun project. So anyway, subscribe and thank you so much for watching.